Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Avengers 4 and the thing that has been spreading around online ridiculously, and we're going to be talking about Wolverine, and people seem to think that he's been confirmed to appear in Avengers Endgame, so let's talk about it and let's go through everything. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So just yesterday, a Google search result came up and when you type in Hugh Jackman and his films, you can see that Avengers Endgame pops up. So tons of people online started typing it up and they were like, oh shit, look, you can type in famous Hugh Jackman movies and you can see, oh, Avengers Endgame is right there. So that means he is officially confirmed, right? This isn't the first time that Google has made a mistake with crediting actors, and this goes to the same thing for many websites like IMDB. They can be influenced by a whole number of things, and so the idea that we would act as if this is confirmed straight away is just a bit ridiculous in my mind because this is Google and a lot of different things can influence the results and he did say in 2017 after he finished Logan that his last time appearing as Wolverine would be in Logan and he doesn't really want to actually continue this character he feels like this is the right time to leave the character and so from then on fans have been theorizing when are we gonna get him back oh obviously he has to come back but no he's an actor he doesn't do it just because he's a fan he is a fan but the reason why he does this is a job and he's not going to do that just for the sake of fans and maybe he could make a guest appearance, I'm not ruling that out, he could make a cameo like if you guys remember back to Deadpool 2, Brad Pitt made a cameo that was very surprising because no one had told anyone about it until we saw the actual film and so I've seemingly been able to confirm that he isn't in Avengers Endgame or at least he's not credited right now and so you could and so you guys can check IMDB or anything like that or Google and yeah it does say he's in Avengers Endgame but I've got access to IMDB Pro and if you scroll down and check his actual list of the films that he's done so his thing is a Broadway 4D The Greatest Showman Deadpool 2 because the producers would like to thank him because he appeared not himself but a younger version of himself and then he's got the front runner and then films in production he's got missing link and bad education and then he's got a bunch of films in unknown development and script stages that he's been announced to be in and that's including a film called the good spy and also carousel apostle paul lots of these different films but nowhere there is avengers endgame and so this is the place where you find all of the different upcoming projects that they're working on even if you don't know what stages they're on it says the status and so on the official place where reporters and everything go to look for information he is not on there so that seemingly confirms that he's not in Avengers Endgame and that Google has made a simple mistake and I do believe that is true I think Google has made a mistake but would I like to see him in Avengers 4? Of course I would I love Wolverine and I love Hugh Jackman. I think he's a great actor, really entertaining, and I really did like the front runner this year. I thought it was very good. Not one of the best films of the year, but he does an amazing performance as per usual. Like last year, he had The Greatest Showman and he had Logan, two amazing films. And so if he was to appear in any of these films, I think it would be a Deadpool film. I don't think it will be Avengers or anything like that because there's no direct link. There's no need for it. It's only the fans need to get him in an Avengers film because he's Wolverine and he's an X-Men character and people are jumping to the conclusion just because part of Fox's assets are moving to Disney including their films they're just going to mix the universes together I don't think that's gonna happen I personally am sort of on edge I don't want to do it but I would like it at the same time but people were seemingly thinking that it's confirmed that these different properties of characters including X-Men characters and Avengers characters are automatically going to cross over as soon as the deal goes through. Apparently they're finishing the deal very very soon, but I don't think we should jump to that conclusion that they're going to include it. Yes, the Russo brothers have said, oh we want to do Secret Wars sometime in the future. I think that could happen down the line, but I don't think it's going to happen straight away. I think it's going to be maybe like five years or something until we get that. I could be totally wrong, or I could be totally right. and. 
I just don't think there is a need for the studios to do that. I think the films are doing well as they are by themselves. And yes, maybe he can make a cameo, maybe just as Hugh Jackman, maybe playing someone else. But I don't think there is that dire need for Wolverine to cross over into an Avengers film straight away. That's just the fans getting really, really sort of over their heads and excited. And so I think this Google thing is very confusing for people because it looks like he's confirmed to be in it, but he isn't really. And I don't know personally how Google works and how their sort of algorithm works and how they put these different films into actors' resumes and yeah, I have no idea how they do it. But this actually, when you think of it, could cause a backlash because fans really, really, really want to see the crossover as I've been saying multiple times. But if he doesn't turn out to be in the film and this has come up, they might be like, oh, you just screwed us over. But I think this is just a mistake on Google's part. And I think they're probably going to come out and say something about it. Or maybe Kevin Feige will. And it just seems like this is sort of one whole big mess. And fans are sort of just jump into conclusions. Because in the Google search engine, it says that. And so it has people believing that Hugh Jackman's Wolverine is going to appear in Avengers Endgame. And I think it's just a hopeful dream and I, I personally don't think it's gonna happen. But the crucial element should be that, yes, IMDB Pro doesn't say that he's appearing, but also that Hugh Jackman says he's not returning as Wolverine anytime soon. He says he's retired from the character and he stated that multiple times that the Logan film would be the last time he ever played the characters and so, you know, it won't stop the fans from getting excited, including myself, but I wouldn't keep your hopes up. This is just a big warning because I don't think there's any reason to believe that he's going to be in this film because nowhere else apart from this are supposedly confirming it. Maybe it's due to some sources, some newspaper articles online that keep on reporting on, oh, look, Hugh Jackman's in this film, the X-Men are going to cross over, and maybe someone in Google whoever works on the search engine, however it works, maybe they've accidentally put it in, or maybe they've done it in order to get that traction and get that sort of attention to Avengers or to Google itself. And so I do think this is just one massive mistake. And so just before we actually head towards the end of this video, I was listening to an interview, I think a couple of days ago from Kevin Feige, and he was talking about the idea of how fans really do believe that they are going to do this crossover with X-Men and Avengers and something along those lines. You guys can go find that on the internet, just type in Kevin Feige interview about X-Men and Avengers or something like that. And essentially what he says at the end of that interview is he's been told, he's been given words that in the next six months he may be able to start planning and start playing around with different things to do with these new characters that Marvel itself doesn't currently own but obviously created. And so right now, this seems to be another piece of confirmation to prove that Hugh Jackman won't appear and that we won't have Wolverine in Avengers Endgame. So I think people are getting their hopes way too high up and Kevin Feige is seemingly confirming via this interview and via many other speeches and interviews he's done in the past that yes, none of these X-Men characters are going to appear and they can't even start properly planning and maybe if they do want to cross over, actually doing that until they get official confirmation in the next few months and so he gave the timeline of about six months. So maybe we can expect it in a few years, but for now, we don't know. So thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry that I sort of rambled a bit in this video. And if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss any Marvel videos because I really do love Marvel. Yes, my channel is called the DC TV show. I know that, but that is my main content. And then I do love making DC videos to do with the films and then also different TV shows like a series of unfortunate events, Game of Thrones, but also Marvel films, Star Wars films, anything that I really like. And you guys can check out my film channel that will be in the description below. I've been doing my top 10 worst and top 10 best films and top 10 most anticipated films of 2019. Been doing all those videos ranking everything that I'm excited about for next year and what I liked and disliked this year in terms of films so go check that out and yeah so that is about it for this video and I will see you guys later goodbye
watch that free.